Hey Thomas, I have a new video for you. So, as you can see, I have now made some bearing points uh, for my foils, which can be placed there. Um, they are now laminated with epoxy resin and fiberglass. We have here now attached the servo for adjusting the foils. And I have today just recently made um, this hatch. It's based out of this plastic lid. Um, which came on top of a uh, cardboard tube to ship me some carbon fiber rods. And I think it's a quite cool solution. Um, there's some fiberglass which I laminated with some th thickened epoxy. And now I let it cure and then I hopefully can pull out this um, plastic lip and have a perfect seal. Um, we have here quite a few of holes um, for the adjustments um, for rudder and main sheet. Let's find out how to seal them or if it even is necessary to seal them. Um, I have here in my mask entry a new hook right there. I don't know, there you can see it. A little bit better. Um, this is for the downhole for the main sh main sail. The main sail goes over here um, and goes until here and then I have to things um, get around here and pull everything down. Um, this hook I now laminated in. Um, there's just some fiberglass and a little knot out of uh, Dyneema from a kite. Let's see how strong this will be. Um, it sure is pretty much lighter than this steel version I made. Overall we have now finished I think the whole boat. Um, the main sheet comes around here. We can pull on here. Uh, there's a servo attached already and we have jib sheet going through here. Um, there has to come another point for redirectioning over here, which then goes to this point or this point. Um, let's find out which one will work better. Yeah, overall I think we can now go ahead and paint the hull. Uh, I think just make some clear coat over it or some basic paint uh, just to make it smooth. It's not supposed to be super super nice looking. And here we have one of the foils which have a super smooth finish. Um, but sadly they have to be uh, sanded again. I lengthened the down area. But later on in a new video I will post more. Here you can see the fiber rod. I'm in the oven by the way at the moment. The carbon fiber rod which goes through the hull and the bearing will sit around here. This point is to attach a ball joint um, so I can adjust the lift for the foils. Yeah, that's basically it. Um, nearly four minutes of video, just a few words about it. Um, one thing I have to do is make some seals for the control lines. Um, and I have absolutely no idea how to make them. I think about some latex molds or some rubber gloves I glue on top of the hull. I don't know. Um, for a later version, I have to close this one and maybe make a whole new gantry so I don't have to open these points on these slots. Um, this hole is from an older version, I have to close as well. Yeah, um, this was an early attachment for a um, lift control system for the foil which m was made out of an L which pivots around here and that didn't work as well. So, thanks again for watching. Um, if you have any ideas, recommendation or suggestion, please let me know in the comments. Subscribe for new content and to stay tuned. See ya.